You know, I've always tried to be open and honest with you. And I know this is going to hurt you. I wish there were an easier way to say this. Just say it. Just say it, honey. Trust me. Mom, I'm a homosexual. I know you don't want to believe it. I don't believe it either. I've been fighting against it for years. And it's true and it just gets truer. How do you know it's true? What do you mean it gets truer? Is there somebody? No, no, no. I've never had sex with anyone. Well, then how, how can you know? I just feel it. And every night, and every day, it seems clearer. But you can't be sure. I'm not sure of anything. You see, I've been carrying this secret around for so long, that sometimes I think I'm crazy. I thought if I told someone, you, how it is. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm glad you did. I'm so glad you did, darling. Of course, you're not sure. How could you be? We'll, we'll get help. You know, I never thought I could just say it out like that. To, to you or to anyone. I am a homosexual. I'm glad you did. It's very brave. I'm so glad you told me. say, I have these feelings I don't understand. He didn't say, I worry, because I'm not like the other guys. What he said was, I am a... I can't even say that word. I choke on it. It's an ugly, ugly word. Tez, the important thing is Jeff told you. Mark, why is this happening? What did we do? What didn't we do? He was always so close to his father. He was never a mama's boy. I must have done something. I must have overprotected him or, or coddled him. All right, now that's enough. You've had a bad shock. Who knows? Maybe Jeff's wrong. Oh, God, that's what I want to believe. All right, Tess, let's have it. Come on, what's this all about? Is it serious? It is. All right. Is it something I don't know about my health? Oh, God, no. No, no. Is that what you were thinking? No. It's Jeff. Jeff? Hey, now listen. This is something that can be changed. So please, please don't explode. What is it? Two days ago, I got a letter from him. He wanted to talk to me. He was protecting you. You see? In a way. What do you mean, in a way? Please, I don't want you to get overexcited. This is very difficult. He has the idea that he may be a homosexual. What? He said, Jeff? Jeff said that. I couldn't believe it either. But he's asking for help. That's what we have to remember. Oh, my God. My God, my God. 
if this is true. If it is, it can be changed. If it's true, it'll stay true. He hasn't done anything with anyone. As long as there hasn't been... say that or to get a report on the big date? No, no. I know you had a good time. Oh, Sarah. More lies and more pretending. It's so unfair to someone like Sue. What happened? She tried and I tried. You tried. Sue doesn't have to try. She's crazy about you. Mom, I like her too. Too much to ever use her like that again. Jeff, don't be so easily discouraged. You know Dr. Daniels said you had to be in therapy. Mom, I'm through with Daniels. Jeff. If I'm going to go to someone, I want someone who will help me. Well, he's had such wonderful successes. I know about his famous cures, Mom. Well, he can't cure me because I'm not sick. I don't have a disease. What do you mean? What's going on here? We're starting the year, Dad, by facing the truth. He wants to stop treatment. I have stopped. Oh, really? Don't you think your mother and I have something to say about that? Jeff, don't throw away this chance. This is your one hope. Mom, uh -huh. it's a phony hope. You know, you and Dr. Daniels talk about curing me. All you want to do is brainwash me. Get me to play your game. Spend the rest of my life in the closet. You asked for our help, son. I ask you to help me be myself. Got to let me be what I am, because I can't change. You mean won't change? Look at me! Look at me! I'm the same person I've always been. Only now, I'm accepting the fact that I prefer to have sex with men. No! Yes. No. And that's nobody's business but mine and his. Two consenting adults acting in private. You don't know what you prefer. Yes, I do. I've tried it. That's it. Ken? Talk about dishonesty. Talk about having it both ways. I'm educating you. I'm paying for your fancy psychiatrist, and you down there doing God knows what. You're sick, and you want to stay sick? All right, fine, but I'm through. That's the kind of lifestyle you want. You can pay for it. Because you're not getting another penny out of me. Ken, don't do this. Hey, that's the way it is. Yeah. You know, when I asked for your help, I wasn't asking for your money. Oh, so now it's us that failed you, huh? I feel the same about the two of you that I always have. I just wish you didn't feel different about me. Jeff, wait! 